In 2015, seven years ago, we got four tropical gar, which were about a 10 inch maybe. Not tiny, but uh, still juvenile. One of them we lost uh, probably about five years ago, which was a runt and uh, wasn't growing as well. And one of them, uh, another one we donated, not, not donated, but adopted out to Rodrigo of Predatory Fish, Predatory Fins. And now we have two left. They've been with us for seven years, they're probably about eight years old. This is a real girthy one that eats like there is no tomorrow. People keep asking me if it's pregnant or, I mean, gravid, gravid or what's wrong with it. Nothing's wrong with it, it just likes to eat. But the other one is not like this at all. Right there. They're both about two and a half foot. The tropical gar come from uh, Mexico and Central America. They're farmed in Mexico. Farmed in Mexico. The one, the one that we adopted out looked just like that guy. They stopped growing a long time ago. I think they're fully grown at two and a half feet. Unless ours, all of them were runts. Maybe you can tell me how, how big your tropical gars grew or grow, have grown. They're from the same family, um, I'm sorry, the same genus as the Cuban gar and alligator gar. And of course, alligator gar is the biggest growing gar. And the Cuban gar is the second biggest, at about six feet. Tropical, I don't know, maybe three, four feet in the wild. I'm guessing, from memory. I'm not sure if they have double row of teeth, just like alligator gar does. And I'm not sure about the Cubans, if they... I know alligator gars have double row of teeth. But I'm not so sure about the uh, tropical and the Cubans. But they're a typical gar, voracious eaters. Primitive, prehistoric living fossil. Ganoid, ganoid scales, which are like an armor. All in all, easy fish and pretty hardy. And sometimes they tend to overeat, just like this fatty showing her nice belly to us. I tend to think it's a she and the slimmer one is a he. But I can't be sure. Never try to sex them. We also have a Florida gar in here our native, and a long nose, the special on which we have done not too long ago. I just fed the tank yesterday, so they're pretty calm and full. I'm not begging for food, as they do sometimes. Gar learn where the food comes from and associate keeper with food and they come over and look at you. So in that regard they're not so primitive.
this guy studying me. What you doing? Why are you pointing this thing at me? Is it edible? Unfortunately, we cannot keep alligator gar in uh, Florida without a license. So we have this, uh, out of this genus, we have tropical gar and uh, Cuban gar.